Hey guys, are you getting all like, you just can't even stay in the house anymore? Well, today we're going outside. I know it's a little foggy, it's a little cloudy, but it's okay, we're going outside. And guess what? I got my Easter bonnet on. You know why? We talked about it yesterday. What is today? Tell me what today is, y'all. It's spring! It's the first day of spring. And so today, you know, yesterday, I had my little shout outs right there on my little blessed little cabinet. You see that? I don't even have any shout outs in there. You know why? They don't fit there. Let me show you. We're going outside, guys. Guys, and, get, and I tripped over my dog. You see my doggy? You see my dog? Say, hey, Rocky. Look, we've been mopping. We've been cleaning. I don't know what you've been doing, but that's what we've been doing. We just feel like that's what we got time for, so we're going to go outside, okay? Here we go. And then we're going to do some shout-outs. All right, so the first shout-outs, oh, the wind's blown them. Man, look at that. I've had to put them on the car, for heaven's sakes. This is Anna, y'all. Anna sent me her little outfit. Look at that precious little thing. And then she sent me her and her PJs. There ain't nothing like a class, a day when you can do some work in your P-Days. PJs. I got days and PJs mixed up right then. But you know what? We just put a heart over it and go on. That's right. All right, so Anna, she was drawing her little book. Remember with the clover? Because clover was one of our words this week. And she talked about Sam and the but actually, it was Smorgy Sam and the Terrible Rainbow. And then she had all the insides and she had decorated. She said her rainbow wasn't that good, but check it out, y'all. That's a good rainbow. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, Anna. And let me tell you, Anna was not the only one. Check out Sophia. Sophia, and look at that sassafras in her little St. Patrick's Day. And check out her book, y'all. Look at that. I'm telling you what's the truth. Sophia's got it going on. Look at that. I love seeing what you guys are doing. And you know, we had some this week. There's Nevea. Look at there. There's Freya. And let me show you Zeke. I got his name wrong yesterday, y'all, but I got it right today. So, Zeke, you went and you took your picture with Bigfoot because we talked about Bigfoot. But let me tell you, I got two videos, y'all. Two videos videos of some of my kids this was one guys this is cross cross yates his mom's a teacher but check this out he did the unfortunate panda look at that look at him he's precious look at that wind going and then he surprised us because he opened up his book and he said wait for it wait for it and look at that y'all Look at that. I was so excited. All right, and then Zeke, he got on there. Check out Amy Daddle in the back. Look at him. And he got on there and he said, hey, it's me, Zeke. He talked just like me. And then he began to read his book with Amy Daddle in the background. Check her out. So he's not only watching my show, he's watching Amy's show. And look at all those words, y'all. Look at, look at that. And you know, he added music to his, and he inspired me. So on my personal Facebook page today, what I did, I said, what song gets you through times like this? Because I think songs are very important. And so does Zeke. And so Zeke added songs to his. And check out his design, y'all. Look at that. Now, his story was about cool it is born now. And he had the rainbow. And look at that music note. I'm telling you, music gets you through some hard times, doesn't it, guys? And some good times. We, we all had music, like, at our wedding. And we have music at parties. And we have music, like, birthday parties. And we have music everywhere. So, it really gets you through. Well, today, I've got some helpers. And we're outside, so you may be hearing some trucks go by but here's our helpers and i'm going to try to zoom in on them there they are look at them they're my little helpers today but guys i'm going to show you a reading activity that you can do with easter eggs do you see any easter eggs out there do you 
Listen, if you see Easter eggs, you let me know because they're going to go for a hunt of Easter eggs. And guess what's in them, y'all? Vocabulary words. Vocabulary words is in them. Oh, look, this is our, this is Larry. Say, hey, Larry. Yes, Lord have mercy. Yes, it's Josie and Taylor. Somebody recognizes you out there. So if you do anything wrong, they already know who you are. All right, so they're going to pick up some of the Easter eggs that we've hid this morning. And you can kind of see, look, here's one. I found one. And let me show you. Let me show you what's in this one. Lord, i got to get down here. Let me show you. Just as an example, I did this with the girls last night. And they helped me. And you can do this activity at home. So let me show you what we did. We put in some spring vocabulary words that you might... Oh, there's something else in there, y'all. Mm, look at that. It's a dime. It is a dime. And I'm so excited because now we can do a little reading and a little math. Oh, by the way, they are picking up some Easter eggs while this is happening. Yes. And they're doing an Easter egg hunt. All right. So, I drew a picture. I didn't even know this was in here. But now I drew this one. It was kind of hard. I'm not an artist. And it, I just don't draw very well. But the word I'm going to be looking for, shh, don't tell. Okay, we're going to keep it a secret. But it's blossoms. Blossoms is the word we're going to be looking for. And so when you see the word blossoms, just know it goes with that picture. So we're going to be putting the word next to it. And the picture, and we're going to be matching them up in the Easter egg hunt. And if they read the word correctly, they get whatever money you put in there, guys. Now, some of y'all might be rich. Some of y'all might, I don't know. Penny, it goes far, guys. I use a penny when I go to McDonald's every day because my coffee is 202. That's what I'm talking about. And those two pennies are very important to me. And so, um, let me tell you where I got these, too. I got 18 Easter eggs, y'all, from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree gave me 18 eggs for one buck. I asked her, I said, I'm so thankful y'all are open because if nobody needs you, teachers need you right now. And so I spent about $12 yesterday at the Dollar Tree for little activities I'm going to be doing with you with reading and doing words and vocabulary. So um, I thought, I thought 18 eggs... For a buck, I, I was pretty impressed with that, especially if your kid and your child is reading. So, um, and, and instead, you just put your little vocabulary words in there. Are y'all ready? Oh, you lost one? Oh, no, now I'm doing, a, I'm doing one, too, as an example. Okay, we lost one, and now we're back. So, here's the one. We're going to go over here. Okay, we're going over here, y'all. Let's see if I can... See, we're still in our little Easter bonnets. Have y'all got your Easter bonnets on? Send me those pictures, guys. I want to see you in your Easter bonnets. I know, boys. It's not cool. Show me a cowboy hat. Show me a baseball hat. We'll count it. We will. We'll count it. Just be a part of this story. I love it. Every day, y'all are a part of our story. So, I'm going to turn you back around. All right. Now, we're going to open them up. My girls are going to open them up. Oh, look. Who caught, who got the most? Oh, did y'all even it out? Yeah. Who got... Oh, <laughs> see, I would be like, who got the most? Well, I see I got one, so I got the least. All right, open them up. Yeah, I'll take that one, then I win. Oh, and then you win, then you have the most? Okay, open them up, and let's lay them out. And we're going to put the money next to whatever it is. And each time you get something right, you get that money. Nope, lay them out. We're, well, yeah, well, we can read them because oh, they're upside down. Oh, okay, so this is what we were looking for. Do you see that? Okay, what word is that, Josie? Blossoms. Blossoms. <laughs> Blossoms. Very good, and you sound it out, and you do so well on that. That was so good. Um, going back to their roots. I mean, this is kindergarten teaching right here. This is preschool. You can do little preschool words with them, and look right there. She just made 20 cents, y'all. That's a big deal. That is some, um, what, is, what is your allowance called? Your, Boom. Your allowance, what it, but you got to read it. You don't get it till you read it, Taylor. Baseball. Baseball. Is that one word or a compound word? 
It's a compound worm. Oh, Joe, she had to help her. She was stuck because I got her off, <laughs> got her off the track. I asked her a question I, she just wasn't sure of. Was it? Complete? So, oh, we're going to find, look at that. We all know what that is because we talked about it this week. So, we're looking for the word. It's, it's going to start with what letter? It's going to start That's with what? Word. It's going to start with an R. So we're looking for words. Look at all this. Oh, with this the, hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh, oh. Learning hurts sometimes, actually. She's just, she not she hasn't worked out since we've been at the house. That's why we're getting out and about, guys. Ooh, ooh, umbrella. Umbrella. Oh, cute. she had the match. And, oh, please, uh, please. Oh, she had the match for that one. Look at all these dimes going on. And so we're we're unpacking all the Easter eggs, and we're seeing the words that we got. And you know, the girls they helped me do this, so you can prep this, and you can do your little. And I'm I'm super proud of those mushrooms. Me and Josie worked hard on those mushrooms. Oh, clouds! Clouds! Oh, oh, clouds! Oh, oh yep, right there. Sponsored by Josie. Right Sponsored by Josie. So there's no copyright on these because we totally did oh, this ourselves. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Mushroom. Did you find it? Mushroom. 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 Compound word. You think? Well, we Butterfly. are living in the liver mush. Butterfly. Mush state. Or county. Butterfly. Yep. So that's 20 cents right there. Butter and fly. That's Butter. a compound word as well. All right. Okay, last one. So this is an activity you do. And if you want to... What time is it, girls? Uh... 1049. 1049. Oh, shoot. I went over. But if you wanted to add to the activity and have them write it with sidewalk chalk, you're welcome to do that. But get them out and about, guys. Get them outside. Do the little Easter egg hunt for $1. You get from the Dollar Tree. And they said the only day they're going to close is Christmas. I don't know. But um, in case you're going by the Dollar Tree because you're going to Walmart, then go by there. Oh, let me tell you about tomorrow's activity. We're going bowling. We're going to be outside. We're going to be outside again. And I'm going to show you how to do toilet paper rolls because I know. I know a lot of y'all's got them. So keep the rolls. And I'm going to show you an activity that you can do bowling tomorrow with your words. All right. I'll see you soon. I hope y'all have a great week. Show me those pictures. Show me you doing the Easter egg hunt with your little activities. And I'll do a shout out to you tomorrow. I'll see you. Bye.